feel just as welcome as you really are this morning. And we're going to be studying a little bit in the book of Psalms, and we would turn to chapter 44. Uh, it's quite a bit here that uh, the writer, and I don't know if David, I, I try to study and find out, if, uh, I don't know if David did this or if one of his uh, helpers did or what, but anyway, I don't mention him as the writer, but anyway, uh, it's, uh, it's some good studying in this, and I've enjoyed studying it for the last day or so and trying to research out just a little bit of how uh, it goes, but it's, uh, it's, it's a blessing to uh, uh, stand before you this morning and to uh, bring the uh, readings to, to you. And uh, I, I say this this morning, I, I ask the Lord to bless the readings, and before I say something that I don't need to say, I'm sorry. Uh, sometimes I get carried away sometimes, and uh, as Brother Roy Marks used to say, slobber goes to sovereign and all this, but <laughs> I enjoy it. I enjoy it, Amen. and I pray this morning that you will too. All right, in the book of Psalms, chapter 44, the uh, the head cap over, the, uh, uh, over this chapter is a former deliverance and present troubles, and we understand this morning what the, what the scripture is trying to tell us because Israel has always and I mean always had their troubles and the Lord has blessed them and Amen. he has blessed them and he has blessed them and listen he will bless them again. Amen. Just as sure as I'm standing here he's going to come back to the Jews and they're going to they're going to be witnesses for a set of thousand years and so it's it's going to be a good time Amen. in the Lord. And so he's coming back and straightening them out. So listen here, it, it's uh, in, for, in verse, uh, in chapter 41, verse 1, it says, Blessed is he that considereth the poor, the Lord will deliver him in, in, all, in time of all troubles. It's a promise. It's a promise to us. So we, we need to think about the promises that God has given to us through His Word and through uh, the preaching and all and and the understanding that we uh, are blessed and that He's always on the throne. He's always there by the Jesus by Him, and Jesus is making intercession for us. And listen, He's telling God about us because He is the true Christ, and His blood was shed for our sins and His. His blood is never Amen. before God, and God cannot deny the blood. And and you know, this morning, uh, people wonder why sometimes that that Jesus cried out to God, uh, and why has Thou forsaken me? Well, listen, people, our stinking sins was on Jesus Christ. Amen. Not only in this generation, but throughout all all the, all the time from beginning to end, all the sins was upon Jesus Christ. Amen. And listen, God could not look upon that sin. He cannot look upon sin. And so this morning, when we uh, sin, Jesus is always there to make intercession for us. And, Amen. and so God is willing to forgive because of that blood that Jesus Christ shed Amen. and covered the sins of the world. And that was the only way that it could have happened is through the blood of Jesus Christ and Him coming and living a life on this earth. So in, uh, that leads us into this. Look at verse 1 of chapter 44. We have heard with our ears, O God. Amen. Our fathers have told us <clears throat> what work thou did in their days in the time times of old now we want to come to you this morning and they're talking about uh one of the things that happened back in exodus and it was about in the round 10th chapter in there when that pharaoh had kept had kept uh, israel in bondage and uh he wouldn't let them go Amen. and so it took the power of god to uh change his mind and Amen. listen uh he he didn't change it all at once because right. he wanted he wanted him to get a good dose of it, and he wanted these things that happened to him to go down through the generations of, of children and children and children and children and tell how that God did these things. And he brought all of these all of these troubles upon him, but finally, uh, when God took his son and all those that were first born 
Listen, he, uh, he changed his tune and he let them go, but then he took off after them. Listen, he was going to annihilate them, but anyway, God opened the Red Sea, let them come across, yeah. and then he said, well, hey, I'm gonna go over and get them. And so when he got out in the middle of the sea, well, the, the Lord closed things up for him and uh, drowned them all. Mm -hmm. And so this is what one of the things that he's talking about here this morning. We have heard with our ears, oh God, and so, we, we want to tell you something this morning. Look in, in verse uh, chapter 78 for just a minute here. I want to read something to you, if I can. Uh, chapter Psalm 78, I think it is. I can get there. Concerning, concerning telling your children and your children's children. In 78 verse 4, notice. Uh, let me get back over to 78. 78 4. We will, uh, well, listen to this in verse 1. Give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the word of my mouth. In other words, incline means to listen, to hear, pay attention, and do it. Mm -hmm. And he says, I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old, which we have heard and know, and our fathers have told us. We will not hide them from their children, Amen. showing to the generations to come the praises of the Lord and his strength and his wonderful works that he hath done. For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed Amen. a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to, to their children. And so this morning for you that have children or that you plan to raise a family, listen, this is something that you need to do. Mm -hmm. And that's tell them about God's work. Tell them about how that, that he, is, he is on top of everything and he knows what's going on. And listen, those that have already raised children, you've got grandchildren, you've got great-grandchildren, listen, you need to come to them. You need to, you need to be helpful for them and tell them about the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ and about God because that's the way it happens. You tell the children, the children and children and it keeps on passing or on and that's what he's talking about in our lesson this morning. So he says here, he's told them how that they work in the midst of, uh, how that they, he worked in the midst of Israel and uh, or in Egypt and how that he done all of this to them and then in verse two it says, how thou didst drive out the heathens or the Gentiles with thy hand and plantest them how thou did afflict the people and cast them out. And so we see this morning that he has not always, he has not always been, uh, uh, he has, his, his children, his people have had so much uh, discomfort and had so much pain and so much wool, but it's because of their hard heart. And right. because of this morning, I can tell you this, and I can say this truthfully. Listen, if you want a good life in this world, you serve God. Yeah. And I'm not going to say, hey, it's going to all be sugar and cream. But listen, the thing of it is, when you when you look forward to seeing Christ, you will look to, for it with a, with a pure heart, with a good heart. And listen, the Lord will not leave you stranded. Yeah. He will be there, and he'll take care of you. So he says... In verse 3 of, of 44, he says, For they got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their own arm save them. Talking about Jesus, uh, God, and, and giving them what they can give. But thy right hand and thy arm and thy light, light of thy countenance, because thou hast a, a favor unto them. And, and God does have a favor unto his, his people. He said Amen. that they are the apple of his eye, and he's the one. He, God sent these, the, the, the Jew, Jesus Christ, and they sent him to them, and he said, this is my people, and you go tell them. And they did, and they rejected. And listen, he says, all right, I'll send someone to the Gentile. And so he, he picked Paul. He said, Paul, you go teach to the Gentiles, and he's, I'm going to set this Jew over here aside, and I'm going to let him wait for a while, and listen, when, when time comes, I'm going to come back to him. Well, all down through the ages, even in, in the last uh, 75 years over in Germany with the Holocaust and all this, you think about how much, how many people starved to death, how right. many people they burned up, mm -hmm. and all this, listen. 
It's because they would not serve God. And listen, people, we we should not never complain. We should never bellyache about what we have to go through right. with because, listen, we've got God as our, our Father, and we have an understanding of Jesus Christ. Amen. We know this morning that Jesus Christ came to this world as the Son of God. They don't know it. They don't believe it. They don't accept the fact that Jesus Christ was the Son of God, and they will not accept him until he comes back and they see him and behold him and say behold the Lamb of God. Amen. And so this morning that's the reason why that the Jews have suffered. That's the reason why that they're still suffering to a point they are. They're still ridiculed and they're still made fun of and they're still Russia and all the other countries will eventually go against them and I'm afraid that uh, the country that we're living in will also do that because right. that all Amen. will and so listen, there's not through suffering yet, but we here need to be praising God and thanking him for all the blessings that he's blessed us with and, and, and just say that we'll, we'll do what we, we, we can and we'll be a witness for him and we'll be a, 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 a comfort to others and Amen. we'll praise God's holy name because listen, He's good to us. Amen. He's good to us, and we don't understand it. He's good to us, regardless of what comes and what goes and how our governments run and who gets this and who gets that. Listen, God is good to us. Amen. And He'll not He'll not let us those that are, are serving Him. He'll not let us hurt that bad. So here again, look at verse four. Thou art my King, O God. Command command deliverance for Jacob. Though through through thee will we push down our enemies, through thy name will we tread them under that arise up against us. For I will not trust in my bow, Amen. neither shall my sword save me. And so he's saying this morning, you put your trust in God, regardless Amen. of what comes or what goes. Put your trust in, he said, I'm not putting my trust in my bow to protect me. Uh, he said, because I put my trust in God. Right. And that this morning is what that we need to do more so than we've ever done in our life. And, and you know, we're, we're in a, we're in a, uh, a simple time. Amen. Uh, uh, and the devil is, is closing the gap. He's closing the gap and, and he's going to, to right. because God's going to permit it. And that's the only way he can do it. And he's going to come in and he's going to set up his antichrist mm -hmm. and he's going to try to take over the world and he's going to, he's going to be a rough customer. But listen, praise the Lord this morning before this all happens, you that knows the Lord Jesus Christ will have the time that you're going to be snatched away Amen. and be in heaven with God. And but now this is the sad part about it is those that don't know the Lord Jesus Christ and have not been saved by the blood of, of Jesus Christ, they're going to have to stay here and they're going to have to suffer. And they're going to be suffering with the Jews too. And so this morning, it's your time. The Jews had their time. They're going to have it again, but it's your time. Mm -hmm. That if you're not saved, if you're not ready to meet the, the Lord when He comes back, you need to be praying about it. You Amen. need to ask for help for it. You need to understand that it actually is going to happen. And so here He says, "I'll not, I'll not, uh, you uh, trust in my bow." And so He said here. But he says, I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me, but thou hast saved us, our in saved us from our enemies and has put them to shame that hate us. And so it will happen, it will happen that the Jew, the Jew will come out on top. But listen, we're talking about ourselves now. We know what's going to what's going to happen, but we need to we need to understand that it's our time. Mm -hmm. It's our time, and we need to get ready, and, and and we need to serve the Lord and be strong and continue to praise Him because it's our time. Amen. Notice now, verse uh, verse eight. In God we boast all the day long and praise thy name forever so long. Now, notice here, what he's, 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 he's changed, sort of changes 
thoughts now. He said, but thou hast cast off and put us to shame. And, and listen, this is, this is the Jew that, and, and, and God has did this, God done this because they wouldn't serve him. They just would not serve him. And so he, he set them aside. He's, he's let other uh, uh, countries take over. And, and listen, they've been in bondage. They come out of Egypt bondage and, in bondage. They come right back into the country and, and they went back in bondage. And people has mistreated them all their life. But he said here, thou makest us, in verse 10, thou makest us to mourn, I mean to turn back from the enemy and they which hate us spoil for them themselves. In other words, the spoil he's talking about, God has permitted them to come in and rob them and take your, take your stuff and all this, and that's a spoil. But he says here, thou hast given us like sheep appointed for meat. Mm -hmm. Now what he's saying is this morning, he's given the Jewish people uh, to other nations and he uses the word meat and uh, uh, and his food, or and they're they're living off of them. They're they're using them as slaves and all of this. And so this is this is the thing that we don't, as God's people, do not care anything about getting involved in is is being under slaves or being enslaved. Because listen, we as a country seen it back. 500 years ago, mm -hmm. how the slaves went, and they're, and they're still they're still not got out of it. But anyway, we don't need this. So he says, in verse 12, Thou sellest thy people for naught, and doth not increase thy wealth by their price. In other words, there are, there are people that's not serving them, so he's letting other other nations take them over and use them for their own needs. Thou makest us a reproach to our neighbors, and I've mentioned this this morning, and there's still a reproach. The Jew is still a reproach. Right. And you, you mentioned it to uh, a lot of people, oh, I don't, that old Joe so-and-so. Listen, there's nothing that would satisfy the biggest majority of the country is to see the Jews completely annihilated. Mm -hmm. Germany wanted to do it. And they 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 fell they they lost out on that. Right. But listen, our country our country has got people in it. I'm sure this morning that hates them. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's that's because this morning, listen, that's because that they would not serve God. Mm -hmm. And this is a warning to us this morning, and God put this all down to warn us because listen, He give He 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 He's He's blessed us, and He's He's give us more He's give us more understanding of God's word. Uh, and he took the law away, and He put grace in, and He made it so much easier for us. Mm -hmm. And listen, we should take advantage of it. And here again, I will read something else. After he says, "Thou make us, thou make us, us a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and a derision, uh, a laughter to them that are uh, around about, and they ridicule. Thou makest us a byword among the heathens, a shaking of the head among the people." And and I, you know, I know you've seen it. I know you've seen it. But people that see things. And they they just they just can't believe it, or they they just despise it, or they don't understand it. They shake their head and say, "I I don't believe it. I won't have nothing to do with it." Well, listen, that's what how the Jews are this mm -hmm. morning. And so he says, "My confusion is continually before me, and the shame of my face hath covered me, or mm -hmm. it's dishonored me, for the voice of him that." Reproacheth and blasphemeth by reason of the enemy and an avenger. All this has come upon us, yet we have not forgotten thee, neither have we dealt falsely in thy covenant. And so here we see uh, that, <coughs> that the Jew has, has realized some of their problems and they're trying to come back. But he said, our heart is not turned back. Neither have our steps declined thy way. Though thou hast sore broken us in, 
the place of, of dragons and covered us with the shadows of death. If we have forgotten the name of our God or stretched out our hand to a strange God, shall not God search his, this out? For he knoweth the secret of our heart. And so Amen. listen, he's praying to God that God would do something for them and help them in this condition that they're in. And listen, he's saying if, if we have done anything, if we worship idols, if we worship old trees and we worship rocks and things of this nature, let, we know that God can search this out and show us this. And, 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 and that's what he's saying here this morning. If we have forgotten the name of our God, and listen, people, this morning, it's, it, it, to me, it looks like that that's what's happening in our country. Yeah. With all with all the sin that the people are doing, the freedom that they do it with, the love that they do it with, the non-care that they do it with, and you can mention homosexuals, abortions, uh, stealings, killings, and all these things. Listen, they're doing it, and they don't regret it. They don't. Right. You, you take when 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 women have their babies killed. And they have no regret about it, but they say, well, I just wasn't ready for that. Listen, they're in the same shape as the Jew. Amen. And they're, they're worshiping, they're worshiping gods, they're worshiping this world because they want the things of this world. And so people, he says here, uh, uh, if we have forgotten the name of our God or stretch out our hand to a strange God, shall not God search his Search this out, for he knoweth the secret of our heart. He knows the secret of our heart. Amen. Listen, and he cries out to us this morning. He's crying out to us this morning uh, to the secrets of our heart because, listen, we're all guilty of sin. Amen. We're all guilty of sin, and we need to be ashamed of it, and we need to, to tell God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm doing these things because, listen, that's what turns his back on us and, and lets the devil have full control and mistreats us and, and does everything to us. So he said here, Yea, and for thy sake are we killed all the day long. Right. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Awake, why sleepest thou, O Lord? In other words, he's, he's, he's asking the Lord, why don't you come back? Why don't you do this thing? Why don't you help us to understand this more? Because he says, why sleepest thou? In other words, God, you've turned your back on us. And they knew that he, the writer here knows that what was happening to him. So he says, wherefore hidest thou thy face and forgiveth our afflictions and our oppressions? Well, he can and he will if you don't listen. And that's, that's one of the promises in, in, a, in a sense here. Listen, if we continue down this path of not obeying God and doing these evils and doing all these things, listen, this is what's going to happen. He's going to turn his back and face from us. And I know he will because he's going to turn back to the Jew. Mm -hmm. And so... While we have time this morning, this day, this year, while we have time, we need to do something about our lives and, and be drawn closer to the Lord. And remember that God's on the throne this morning and he's, he is waiting for us to come and to uh, com confess our sins and Amen. to, uh, to, uh, to be, get back in his will. So he says, for our souls in verse 25, for our souls is bowed down to the dust. Our bellies cleaveth unto the earth. Arise for our help and redeem us for thy mercy's sake. Amen. And so he's crying out to God this morning, and that's the same thing this morning that we need to do is to cry out unto the Lord. And uh, we say, well, uh, we're in pretty good shape. Well, you may think that, but listen, all in all, uh, you're not as close, and I'm not as close right. as I need to be. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not as close to the Lord as I could be because, because there's things that, that still bothers me, and still I can rejoice more in the Lord if I'm closer to Him. And uh, listen, uh, I used to, 
I used to hear a man say about uh, when he got a whipping from his mom. He said she'd take a switch to him, and he said he did just as close to her as he could, because that way uh, she couldn't hit him as hard. And listen, that's what we need to do uh, with God this morning. Amen. We need to get as close to Him as we can and serve Him and, and praise His holy name and forget these things that are going on in the world, the stinking sins and the lust that we have in our heart for Him. So this is this is our lesson this morning. I hope it. I hope it's something that Fred will, will help you. We'd we'll like to go to the Lord in the Word of Prayer this morning and be dismissed. Father, this morning we come to you with thankful hearts and we praise your holy name. And Father, we thank you for this opportunity that we've had to read thy word and to make a few comments. And Lord, we just pray that not only us, but all those that are out there in the world that we can be reached through the computers. Father, that they will hear it, and Father, that you will speak to their hearts this morning. Help us all to do thy will this day, and we ask that you would help us to uh, be a closer walk with thee. In Jesus' name we pray and thank you. Amen. Amen.